my birth story I was expecting it differently and you know it happened differently so yeah. I don't even know why I'm getting emotional but that's hormones I'm telling you video as quickly as possible before this girl wakes up so I've been trying to film this video for the whole day but this girl wouldn't let me she's been crying and crying and crying for like forever but anyway hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I would like to um, share with you my label Bad story so yeah before I start don't forget to uh, subscribe um, like this video share it and yeah do all this all that good stuff to support me so it's been it's been a while since I've last filmed and no surprise you know I had a baby I have a baby now so I don't have a life pretty much so you know but anyway, um, so yeah, so I found this time now that she's snapping to film this video and share with you my Lego story. So I actually filmed this video on Sunday, well, a few days ago again, but I got a bit emotional and I didn't want to really, you know, share it in this way because um, even though things didn't go according to plan it's still a positive story because baby's here and I'm here but we are both okay and that's all that matters okay so yeah so she was due to come on the 13th of January but uh, she came two days earlier which I'm um, you know so happy about I didn't want him to delay to come because uh, you know the more they delay the more the chances are for them to you know poo inside you and then there's gonna be complications and and guess what even though she's she came early she still she still made a poo inside me and yeah things got a bit complicated but anyway so let's go back the night before my water broke so me and hubby you know he suggested to me you know if you want your water to break if you want to reduce your labor I have the plan for you so you're gonna eat curry and also we're gonna have some you know sexy time together as well which if you didn't know sex actually help you trigger labor not always but it kind of helps which it actually did in my case because that that night that previous night you know, had some you know intimate time with my husband and voila in at about six was about 6 45 in the morning my water broke we are both asleep and I just woke up and I feel like something wet coming out but then I turned and there was this gush of water that just came out just like that and it wouldn't stop for the life of God it would not stop it was coming out like 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 river it was it's, it's just mind-blowing how much water you actually carry inside you and it's crazy how much water is, is, is just coming out of you so um, so yeah my water broke and I've noticed on the on the sheet that there was some kind of brownish particles as well but anyway I stood up thank God my rope was on the floor so I just stood on top of it and you know the water was still coming out it was coming out 
and I also woke up my husband which he rushed to get some clothes for me to wear and, and then you know we rushed to the hospital before we left the house I actually I also used the loo and um, and I've noticed that the liquid the when your water break it, the liquid supposed to be clear but my the liquid that was coming out it was kind of greenish brownish so I knew I remember from my midwife she told me you have to check your water because if it's greenish brownish that means that the baby must have the baby made a poo inside so I thought you know that might be the case so you know I put a pad as well because uh, they have to check when you go to the hospital they have to check the you know if your wood have broken the color of it and everything so yeah so yeah we got our stuff and we left the house and at that point my contractions started coming as well it wasn't that painful it kind of felt like period pains but they were not that strong at that point so I was trying to time them so and I think that every five minutes I will have a contraction it wasn't clear how much it, it lasted um, it wasn't that consistent but I definitely had contractions we go into the hospital um, while the midwife was checking me my husband had to wait outside and um, <laughs> okay she stopped now <sighs> anyway as I was saying I went in and there was a midwife there and um, she immediately she immediately put me on the heart monitor for the baby so you know they rub you with this uh, it's kind of two kind of belts and they, they you know they monitor the habit of the baby and she also saw the color of the part and and I gave a urine sample as well as, as as soon as I got there they do that every time anyway so so then she told me that she didn't like the heartbeat of the baby and um, and she also told me that the baby made a poo which you know I kind of knew and I was meant to give birth to the home to the um, I was I was meant to give birth to the um, birth center because uh, um, and you give birth to the birth center if you are low risk and if there was no complicated complications with your pregnancy which that was my case until that until that point so uh, just to explain the birth center is like it's in the hospital but you kind of have your own room and it's nicer it feels more like home so yeah but then the midwife told me because i don't like the heartbeat and because of the fact that the baby made a poo inside you you can have to stay here you're not gonna give you're not gonna go to the um, birth center anymore to give birth because they're at the birth center they're trying to help you give birth as natural in the most natural way as possible you don't even get a bit a, epidural there if you if you go and at that point I, I had to just stay there so yeah husband came after that and we go into they put us in a different room in a delivery suit and uh, after a while the doctor came um, I, I've seen a couple of doctors that day that doctor came and she she checked as well the heart beat of the baby and um, yeah and she told me as well that you know there was some concerns with it and and yeah and then the midwife she wanted to check 
how far I dilate it. I dilate it. Yes, yes. So, if you don't know, because um, I didn't know how they check your cervix to see how much you dilate, and it wasn't pleasant at all because they actually put their finger, you know, up in your veggie to check, and uh, it's just crazy. And she said to me, Oh, I'm gonna have to check and um. Uh, I'm gonna have to touch to try and touch the baby's head and if the baby responds uh, um, it's gonna show on the some on the heartbeat monitor something like that I was like oh well half you know whatever and then also she was going to give me a sweep so a sweep is when they do something like that they do something a movement with their finger up in your cervix just to trigger just to help you dilate more and you know and and speed up the labor process so yeah she put her finger and checked my cervix and it was <sighs> it was traumatic I did not the pain it was just so uncomfortable and the pressure and the pain and Oh, it was just crazy. I did not like it at all. I started screaming. I was holding my husband's hands so hard. At some point, I think I even scratched him, scratched him or something. But yeah, it was not pleasant at all. So yeah, she checked and she told me that I was only a centimeter dilated. She also put me on a drip just to help me uh, contract more and dilate more. And 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 also for the baby's heartbeat to to kind of stabilize and at that point my contractions were getting stronger and i feel like my contracts contractions were very close together like i will have contractions every two to three minutes and then it will last for about a minute So yeah, and they were strong, like, it's this, labor is no joke, seriously, at some point, uh, I was like, uh, I'm gonna give up, I just wanna go home, bye, see ya, but guess what, even if you go home, you, you know, the pain won't stop, you, you have to do this, you are doing this, you have to get on with it, you know? And it's so exhausting as well very exhausting so i can't imagine how some women go through labor for days i mean it's, it's just mind-blowing i was in labor for about two two hours and the pain is just this it, we women are strong that's all i have to say mom i'm sorry for being a little shit to you but I love you and I admire you and I admire me as well because <laughs> this baby won't stop crying today and I'm getting a bit mad but <laughs> you know yeah as I was saying my contractions were getting stronger and they were close together and they I didn't have any painkillers uh, I only had this uh, gasanair so gasanair is something you inhale and it, it kind of help you manage the pain I was not doing right, I was just <laughs> puffing it, I don't know, 
but the, the midwife told me in order for it to work you need to inhale it properly take deep breaths while you breathe in it and you have to do it all the time i was doing i don't know if it was helping because at some point i even got high that's another true fact about you know inhaling the gas in air you get high then the doctor came again after all that the doctor came again to check the baby's heartbeat to see where we stand and also she checked again my cervix and she was m more gentle to be honest than the other midwife and i think she told me that i was still dilated only one centimeter and and then she told me that um the heartbeat of the baby was better but they were not happy enough for me to have a natural birth and go through hours and hours of labor while the baby is in distress so anyway i have to feed her so yeah the doctors were not confident for me to have a normal birth because the baby was in distress she made a poo inside me and she was in distress i think because of that or something and there was still some water as well behind her head that was still coming out and until that point I, I could still feel water coming out like I was leaking the, throughout she told me we that we had to have a cesarean emergency cesarean section c-section cesarean section anyway cesarean whatever so yeah we had to have an emergency cesarean I was clearly disappointed because I wanted the most natural birth, you know. I want I want a water birth in the birth center, and that's why you shouldn't stick too much to your birth plan, because shit can happen and things can change. So, so yeah, it's just I was not expecting that, and only 12 to 20 percent of babies actually put in the room and it had to happen to my baby so i had to accept my fate at that point they brought they explained everything to me i signed some papers explaining the risks and and all that and yeah here i am going into the surgery room in general everything was positive everyone was professional everyone was doing their job very very good and um, yeah I got into the room and um, they put anesthetic from the waist below they also inserted a catheter I was actually quite happy to have a catheter because towards the end of my pregnancy the amount of times that I would use the, the loo it was just insane so I was just happy for someone else to do that for me and yeah they opened me up and at about um at about 10 15 in the morning baby iris was born yeah they brought her to me then they went to give her a quick you know bath and then they put they brought her back to me and they they put her on my chest it took them about 15 minutes to to bring the kid the the, the baby out and then another about 30 minutes to close me up and stitch me up and all that I did not feel I did not feel anything that was one of my fears that I was scared that oh my god what if this anesthetic won't work and I will feel the pain while they, they are cutting me up and all that but nah you don't feel any of that and you actually feel like paralyzed you can't move your legs you can't do nothing and the only thing I could kind of feel it was the pulling and stretching i don't know what they were doing so they have like a sheet in front of you so you can't see any of that thank god they've done all that the operations went well and um yeah me and baby we are fine they check her weight was 3.14 something like that kilos which is which is good it's a tiny baby but it's, it's a normal weight and and yeah after that they 
took me back to the bedroom back to, to, to the room yeah me and baby spent some time together and I've tried to breastfeed her which is going well at the moment at first I had many concerns it's, it's, breastfeeding is not easy if you don't just put the baby and the baby was just sucking that's it it can be it's painful especially the first days of breastfeeding is flipping painful and that was pretty much it that was my label story I after the cesarean I needed a few hours for the anesthetic to go away and start feeling my legs again and after that you start feeling the pain as well you feel very sore in that area and it's, it's, it's hard to do things like pulling myself up it was so painful and you feel like oh my god the stitches will come out and all that obviously it won't happen but that's how it feels and um, it was it was just painful it was very painful but it's not it's not that bad yeah that was my story I had different plans I was dis I was disappointed hell yeah because I wanted to push I wanted to push I wanted to have the midwives help me push push yeah now you can push you can do it but I didn't have any of that I just thank God that the baby is fine and that's the most important thing we need to remember that women no matter how you give birth you you are still giving birth you are still bringing a human being into this world you see giving life to a human being and it's, it's that's the most important thing and no matter what you are worth it because you've been through nine months of you know carrying this baby caring for this baby and the way you brought this baby into this world it's the last thing you're gonna be thinking about you know after you give birth you're gonna see that baby and and just feel happy and and you're just gonna love this baby the same way don't feel bad don't feel a failure don't feel that or oh, maybe if I if I was eating properly or maybe if I was stressing less if I was resting less maybe I could have avoided that but, but maybe no so don't be too harsh on yourself you know because those things you can't control them you can't control them it's not easy being a mom and bringing a human being into this world so don't be a hater don't shame moms for bringing babies through cesarean or waterbed or any other kind of birth do not criticize them for the way they bring their babies into this world this baby is sitting and I have to change here as well because I can spell it so yeah thanks for watching this video I wanted to pass a positive message with this video because I want you to know that even though things did not go as you planned it um, your story your birth story is still worth it it's still beautiful it's still unique and special so don't don't think that because you didn't give birth in a natural way that you are less worth it than any other woman or that you did something wrong so so yeah i just want to leave you with that because having a healthy child at the end of the day that's a success and that's what you want so don't be too harsh on yourself um I'm gonna be uploading more videos soon and I hope to see you soon and stick around. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Bye bye.